Hello and welcome to another mp4global.com user review. Today we have the new Gemi X760 Plus. This has a 3 inch screen. Let's show you this model, some of, some of its accessories and what you can do with this. Here we have the X760 Plus. This has up to a 30% faster performance and is 3 inch screen. This model is also 4 GB. Let's show you the box, the unit, and some of the accessories you get with it. As you can see the X760 Plus. Let's show you some accessories you get with it. You get the USB cable for transferring of data and to charge the unit. You get the headphones. You get the instruction manual, which is in Chinese, but it does have pictures telling you exactly how things work. And the unit's not too hard to learn how to use. Okay, let's show you the player now. You have the on, off, play, pause button on the top, as you can see. You have the reset button right next to it. You have your, th you have your TV out cable. You have your 3.5 mm audio jack. Your standard 5 pin port slot. You have your DC charger slot. You have your SD card slot for, for expandable memory. And you have a little loop over here you can connect to put it around your neck. The buttons wise, it, comes, it has four buttons on the left, up, down, left, right. And you have A, B, X, and an up arrow. A is what you'll be using to enter most of the options. X is what you'll be using to exit. Let's turn on this unit and show you how it works. Just hold it for two or three seconds. This is a very good portable media player. The games on this are good. And you can also connect this to the TV for TV out function. Okay, let's show you how it works. Some of the features you have are Game Center, Music Hall, Movie Theater, Radio, Recorder, Picture, Library, TV Out option, which we'll show you in a few minutes, Browser, and System Setup. Let's show you from the beginning how everything works. Here you have the Game Center. You have one game already on this, which is a car racing game, which we'll show you. And you have a few interesting games, which are right now we can only figure out at demos. Let's show you how the car racing game works. Push A to enter. Push A to enter again, <clears throat> and A to enter again. The screen quality is very good. You can see it from most angles. The games, this supports GBA, NEO, GEO, NES, SFC, MD, gaming support, with the usual RM, RMVB, FLV. You just push A to enter. Again, tournament. You can enter, no problem. You can only use the left side controls to accelerate. If you want to change the viewing angle, push the up arrow. Green screen and the quality of the screen gives for optimum pleasure. As we said, this card this also has a SD card slot, which you can put more games on. As we were saying before also, this comes with the usual RM, RMVB, FLV, AVI, MPEG, MPG, DAT, ASF, WMV, VOB, 3PG, MP4 and MP3, WMA, WAV, APE, and FLAC. The this can support up to about 20 hours of audio. Let's show you how some of the other features work. Music Hall, to enter again, just push A. Again, just push A. Very easy to use. Push. We'll show you how the volume works. Go to 30 volume. 
go next. By pushing next, you can fast forward just by holding the. You can see it moving. If you just hold the button, rewind the same way. And then you play and pause with this button. And the exit, you push the X button. Again, exit, push the X button. You have movie theater. This is one thing I really liked about this player. The screen quality is very good. Fast forward very easily. We'll show you how to connect it to the TV in a second and show you how everything works. You have movie theater, you have radio, recorder, picture. We'll show you this real quick. Screen quality, as you can see, is very good. And when you push the down arrow, it changes angle that you're seeing the picture in. Again, exit, just push X. Go across to the next one. Screen quality is very good, viewing angles. Exit, just push X. And X again, picture, library, TV, browser, system setup. We'll show you how the TV works. TV, all you need to do is make sure it's on connect TV. Push the A button to enter. Okay, let's connect it to the, you get the TV cable. Very simple, all you do is take the TV cable, find your TV out, plug it in, push it in all the way, make sure it's in all the way, and as you can see, oh wait, I exited. Again, all you need to do, you can use this now as your main screen. Keep going across. We'll show you how the system set is. The browser is just for the SD card. System set. Everything I'm doing on this, about. You can see 4 GB. You can see the languages. English and a few Chinese languages. Display. Change the font color. Back to default mode. The speaker. Again, all this is being controlled by my hands, but you can see it on the bigger TV. Let's show you the game again. You can see now how much fun it can be. Turn the volume up. Again, you can change the viewing angle by pushing up arrow on your PMP. Push it again, you'll see what happens, it changes. And it changes again. And here we have it. This is the Gemi X760 Plus. This is the newest version that's come out on the Gemi series. And as we said, this is a 3 inch screen. Thank you for watching our mp4global.com review. If you have any questions, you can email us or check out our website and our forums. Thank you very much. Here you have it.